Hey guys, we have this 2011 VE Holden SV6 3.6 litre uh, in for a retune. Uh, this is the LLT engine. It has been tuned previously, uh, not running very well. Even on idle, the fuel trims are way out, which means it's running uh, very rich. Uh, the customer's not happy with the uh, old uh, tune or the workshop that performed the work. So we will be retuning it. Um, this has an awesome OTR. This has a Bosch ECU. Uh, if you don't do um, like a decent amount of street logging on this, you are going to run into trouble because it does take time every time you flash it for the fuel trims to kick back in. So if you just do a dyno run, flash some tune in and let the customer pick it up, which is the case um, with this particular car, like you haven't tuned it properly. So that's where we're, that's where we're at. So, uh, looking at this car, the first thing we noticed is that the fuel trims are negative. Um, so, they haven't, um, on these, like on this particular vehicle, you do need to do a lot of straight testing and you do need to be touching up uh, the fuel trims on the, on the different MAF tables. Um, this hasn't been done. Just revving it. Negative 20, so it's pulling 20% on bank one. And we're getting some knock occurring as well. Hey guys, so a few things to note. Um, <clears throat> when your fuel trims are out, especially on idle, you do have these codes here. And these let you know that something's wrong. Uh, often when the uh, perch solenoid is stuffed, uh, if you have uh, a vacuum leak, um, something like that, these codes will come on. Uh, or if it's not tuned properly, which is uh, in this case, the case. <laughs> uh, so we go over to, to, like, to this side. So if you look here, these ones in green, the reason why they're in green is because I'm comparing it to a stock vial. So these ones mean that they've been changed on this particular tune. When you go mill off, it means that the engine light off, um, like the engine light will be off in the car. Uh, it will still come up if you scan for it. Uh, so they haven't disabled it completely, but they have turned it off the dash. So you only turn these off the dash if there's an issue with the tune. So that's one thing that's wrong with this. Uh, if we go to our main map table as well, these figures here are going to be way too lean in the top end. I just know because I've tuned so many of these. Um, you start hitting, like this is like the main part that you're going to be hitting um, after you get over 6,000 RPM on the map table. That's way too lean. Um, I'd be, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this was hitting up around the, um, 13.5 AFU ratio mark under wide open throttle. Stock looks like that. So we will find out on the dyno what it's doing. Uh, now they've also, this math correction. Now math correction is very important. So compared to a stock file, they've just added a bit more fuel um, above 69% load at 6,000 RPM. That should have been done in the main MAF table um, using uh, a wide band sensor and using the narrow bands. So this is just ridiculous. So this is gonna go back to stock, like so. It's a base table, you don't need to adjust it. Uh, I'm not gonna be showing you all my secrets, but uh, yeah, that's ridiculous. Um, there's a few other concerns, I'm not gonna really get into it too much. They haven't touched any of the cam timing, which on a stock LLT, you don't always have to, but if it is knocking, it's a good idea too. That's fine. Um, this is driving up to 7,300 RPM. 
Uh, I guarantee you it's not making power up that high. Um, I guess we'll find out on the dyno. We are going to have a before and after figure on this. Uh, power enrichment, not too bad. I personally wouldn't be having it going um, lean. Like, like, so it's going rich, right? And then it's going even more rich. And then it's going lean again. So they're using the power enrichment lambda table to try and fix the issue with the mass sensors, which isn't too good. Um, spark table, this is what a stock spark table looks like. And this is their spark table. So they've added like an extra 0.7 or about a one extra degree of sparks. Maybe they've done a multiplier. Uh, maybe they've added like 1% or whatever it is um, there. So that's a, yeah. And that's on all of these tables. These uh, spark tables are very important um, and, and you can make decent power. Uh, doo -doo -doo. maxed out his knock sensitivity between 16 to 4,000 RPM. Uh, you don't need to be maxing these out. You, if it is getting some false knock, that's fine, but to max them out is dangerous. So that's on all six cylinders. And then if you go to torque management, they've turned up spark retard and they've turned up tip and limiting, which I wouldn't have done. Uh, optimum torque table. Um, yeah, don't want to be charged like that. So this table, you're meant to build this table. So this particular engine um, ECU, this Bosch ECU is torque based. Um, so there's actually a way to calculate your engine torque um, and the engine references, or the ECU references it and sees if it has to adjust to make any difference. This, just maxing this out is just, uh, so this is the stock table. See how smooth that is? Nice and smooth. Um, you can adjust this, obviously it's meant to be adjusted, but not just, um, throw some hundreds into the equation, which is what's happening here. Uh, so, um, I was going through the tune, um, just returning it back to stock before I start, and uh, this is your maximum knock retard. Um, I like to leave this like, completely stock, to be honest, because um, if there's some issue that's causing the engine to knock badly, maybe you've got real bad fuel or something from a petrol station, blah, 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 um, like, say like four degrees of knock retard, uh, maximum is not safe at all. Um, so it, let's say it's meant to be 30, uh, degrees of spark that the engine's commanding at a certain RPM, say we're commanding it, maybe it's doing a, driving above 6,000 RPM. Um, if you're only saying like negative four here, uh, that's by 26 degrees and that's not going to be enough to save your motor. So I like to leave this completely stock because a working car is better than a, um, so that's back to stock now, is better than a broken car or a car with a rod out the side of it off the block. So yeah, that's another update. <laughs> Hey 
Hey guys, we just finished the Dyna run. Uh, this is your knock here. This is our RPM here. So as we go up, we get some knock here, three degrees, and it goes away, comes back, goes away. We're getting um, something's happening here. It could be to do with the map sensor and the tune that's on the map. That's going up and down, up and down. That spark here, look at that. 13, 25, 13, 12, 9, 28, blah, blah, blah. And then it, we're hitting lots of knock. That's pinging off its head. Even my knock earphones are picking that up and it's retarding power. This is meant to be going all the way to 7,300 RPM, but I had to kill the run early because with that much knock occurring, um, it's gonna, it, it's only, I don't know how long until those have rolled out the side of the block. Or well, it destroys his piston rings. Uh, it's possibly already burning terrible amounts of oil with this sort of knock. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the piston rings have been damaged from this over time. So, let's fix this.